my channel. It's been way too long since I've talked to you guys or um, I mean I guess it hasn't been that long since I posted a video but that video was very delayed. I had a ton of computer issues. Luckily those things are solved but I am sitting outside of the dance studio right now. Kaylee's is in dance class for another 30 minutes. Um, <clears throat> Junior is at baseball practice. I'm lucky enough that his coach actually um he goes to school with his coach's kids so his coach will pick him up after school and he goes and he hangs out with his coach which i trust and love very much i mean they're one of my favorite families so we've come we've become very close um so i let him go to his coach's house before practice and then he's able to go to practice with his baseball coach, which works out because we have dance and practice at the same time on the same day. So it's kind of crazy. And my husband works until six. It is six o'clock now. So he wouldn't have been able to bring Kaylee to dance. He wouldn't be able to bring Junior to baseball. It just wouldn't happen. So oh, let's see, where do I start? Um, and I'm sorry if this is shaky, my little like, holder for my phone in the car broke and I don't have a camera with me because I haven't vlogged in God knows how long so all I have is my phone but I just kind of I have a headache <laughs> I have like sinus pressure going on and I just didn't feel like sitting in the dance studio um, just because there's a lot of little ones running around and I kind of needed a break so I was like, let me go out to my car, and then I'm sitting out here, and I started to lay my seat back, and I was like, I should film an update. So here we go. <sighs> well, I guess I'll start with the obvious. Yes, I got my hair cut. It's very short. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's, um, it's growing on me, I guess. Um, when I first got it cut, I was in shock. It was past halfway down my back. And now it's up to my chin, but I do like it. I do think it fits me most of the time. Today I was chaperoning a field trip for Junior, so it's just half up, half down because, yeah, I didn't feel like doing it. Um, work has been great. I do love working in the school system. I'm excited to just finish my own schooling and just move up and have my own classroom and just do all of those things. Um, in August, my grandmother did pass away. I have posted videos um, telling you guys what happened. I will link them down below, but my grandmother did have a stroke. She was in the hospital for some time. She was in a rehabilitation center. She was actually set to go home about, but she was set to go home three days after she passed away. So um, that's been hard, obviously. Um, I've talked about how much my grandmother means to me. I don't really want to divulge and get into it too much just because I don't want to get emotional. Um, but she did pass away. Um, I did go to New Jersey and got to spend some time with my family, which I'm very grateful for. And I will miss her dearly. But I know that she's in a better place. She's not suffering. So I try to keep that in mind. I am... I am still grieving, but I'm grieving much differently than I have grieved in the past. When my sister passed away, the grieving was different. I was more distraught and someone that couldn't function, I guess, correctly. I am now, I don't know if it's a maturity thing or just the fact that when my sister passed away, it was unexpected. And when my grandmother passed away, I always had the thought in my mind that it could be her time at some point soon. So even though I obviously didn't want it to happen, the thought was there. So yes, yeah, she did pass away. I did get to go to New Jersey. I was able to give her eulogy, which was an honor. And I hope that I made her and my grandfather pr proud. And we'll move on. Ugh, shadows and stuff. Okay, so with my schooling, I am so close to being done. I have, let's see, I have my preclinical experiences, which is basically my observations of other teachers to do. And then I have my 
um, demonstration teaching to do and I have all of my licensing exams left to do. I have to take two praxis exams and then the GACE, which is what they, re what they require in the state of Georgia. I am registered for one of my praxis exams and I should be registered very soon for the GACE. I've already looked at dates and stuff. I just, I'm trying to spread them out because I do have to take time off of work for them and I don't want to take too much time off at a time. But I'm excited to get done and just, you know, get a classroom and get to work. Um, what else? So, what's going on with YouTube? So, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do like some weekly vlogs here now. Um, we're super busy. We've been very busy, especially this month with baseball and dance and everything but fall baseball is about to finish and then we will have a break from sports junior has decided to take next season off he's not going to do basketball or anything of those sort not that he ever ha has but um we will just be taking the season off and then going back into baseball in the spring kaylee's will still have dance but dances once a week and girl scouts is every other week um so we so we'll have a little bit of a less hectic schedule um, what else? Um, the kids brought home report cards Monday. They both got straight A's, so I'm super proud of that. And things are just going great all around. We've just been so busy because it's, we're always busy, but it's also new for us because I'm working. So it's like the only extra time that I do have, I I don't have time <laughs> like there is no extra time so whereas when I was home I had more time to do schoolwork and housework and all that stuff I don't have that time anymore so we've kind of gotten more accustomed to it and I'm hoping to just get right back into YouTube now and I really am gonna I've been writing down some video ideas so I'm gonna really buckle down and get like some batch filming done where I just film a lot of videos at a time and then just edit them and have them scheduled to go out and also do some weekly vlogging because I feel like that might be a little more up my alley. So I'm not promising one video a day for every weekday like I promised before, um, but I am hoping to at least do two to three videos a week. So hopefully... Um, that works out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye, guys. She's amazing. Her whole family's amazing. They have a vlog.